Now at four, new reaction to a judge's ruling blocking the governor's order banning mask mandates. A decision that could lead to sweeping policy changes for schools statewide. This is News 6 at 4. I'm Lisa Bell. I'm Ginger Gadsden. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Julie Broughton. We have team coverage with Nadine Giannis breaking down what this means for local students and districts. But we begin with News 6's Lauren Cervantes live with the key takeaways from today's hearing and what's next. Lauren. Well, just after noon, the judge ruled that schools are able to impose a mask mandate, saying the governor doesn't have the legal authority to ban them. School district adopting a policy such as a mask mandate is acting within its discretion. In the battle over face masks, Judge John Cooper ruling that schools can impose a mask mandate. The judge saying that Governor Ron DeSantis' executive order was an overstep. Does not meet constitutional muster because such action exceeds the authority given to the defendants under the Parents' Bill of Rights law passed by the Florida legislature. For days, the governor has argued the new Parents' Bill of Rights gave parents the right to make decisions about their kids' health. But Judge Cooper said the same law gives school districts an exemption to take action to protect health. Seeking to enforce a policy through the executive order and through actions that violate the provisions of the Parents' Bill of Rights is by definition arbitrary and capricious. The judge also calling face mask policies that follow CDC guidance, quote, reasonable and consistent with scientific and medical opinion and guidance in the country at this time. The evidence clearly demonstrates that the recommendation of the CDC for universal masking of students, teachers, and staff represents the overwhelming consensus of scientists, medical doctors, and medical organizations. While here in Orlando yesterday, the governor said they would appeal the judge's decision should they lose. Today, the communications director with the governor's office said in an email, quote, we will continue to defend the law and parents' rights in Florida and will immediately appeal the ruling to the first district court of appeals, where we are confident we will prevail on the merits of the case. The ruling comes as 10 Florida school districts, including Orange County, have defied the governor's order. Orange County's is set to go into effect on Monday. News 6 also reached out to the Florida Department of Education on this, and they sent us in an email saying in part, quote, this decision conflicts with basic and established rights of parents to make private health care and education decisions for their children. We will continue to fight to make sure every child has access to education. Ginger.